Good morning guys, today I'm going to take you to one of the most beautiful places in Venlo. Let's jump into that office. Whoa. Welcome to this beautiful piece in Venlo, one of the most beautiful areas near the center of Venlo, the river, the Maas. I'm going to walk you through this beautiful area yesterday together with my wife. She's in the background making a beautiful picture and we are going to talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Good. Good morning. morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are in this beautiful world. Guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. This is my wife, Romaine Taihutu Smith. Of course, <laughs> I need to say her name as well. We are the guys that sold literally everything we owned three years ago. We went all into Bitcoin. We sold our house, our company, our cars, our bikes, our 70 pairs of shoes, everything, all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, Three years later, guys, we are coming to you from Venlo City, our hometown, where we are visiting our friends for two weeks before we are traveling to Spain. In today's video, of course, going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to share some really cool charts with you to see what is going to happen to Bitcoin. We are talking about the Iranian government now giving green light for these power plants to start mining bitcoins. Also looking at Cardano and the Shelly hard fork that is going live today. What does this mean for Cardano? Taking a short look at Coinbase because even they are now going to pay interest if you hodl die on their platform. Why are all these platforms now paying interest and how long is it going to take before this old capital is going to flow in this industry to earn some extra interest. And at the end, we are going to compare gold with Bitcoin because I think Bitcoin is going to outperform gold in a very short time. Enjoy today's video, guys, while I enjoy my beautiful wife and this beautiful nature around me. Let's start a video with asking my wife, do you like Bitcoin? Yes, <laughs> I love it. Could she say something else while I walk next to her? I don't think so. <laughs> but it has a huge influence on our life Definitely. and our family's life and our kids and everything we do. A positive. A positive influence. Yes. <laughs> That's why I love my wife. She's always positive, cheerful. Look, not always, positively, <laughs> cheerfully dressed, positive. Born to be free, she's born to be positive. I know guys what you're waiting for. You are waiting again for me to talk about the Bitcoin price. And you know, I like that, but I prefer to talk about the true fundamentals. But about the Bitcoin price, we are hovering around 11,000 US dollar. Like I said in yesterday's video and the video before, in my opinion, we are going up from here. We are going to 13,500 and maybe even to 16,500 and maybe even into this new bull run where we will see 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin next year. Let's take a look at the first chart, this one, pop, this chart. If you look to this chart, you can see that we are almost nearing this pinkish area on top of the chart. This pinkish area on the top of the chart, this pinkish area on the top of the chart is indicated how many people are in profit holding their Bitcoins. At the moment, 93% of the people that own Bitcoins are in profit. Yes, 93% is a very high number, but we can go even higher. If you look to the left on the chart, you can see that in 2017, during the bull run, we went into this pinkish area for several weeks. This was exactly when we saw the new all-time high. I think that the new all-time high will be way higher. That's why we are seeing now we are not even in the pinkish area. We still need to go into this area to see a new all-time high. The higher Bitcoin is going, the less people will be in loss. Because if Bitcoin is going to go above 20K, then most of the people will be in profit. So we will see a 99% number of people being in profit by holding their bitcoins but if we zoom into the charts and this one bam you can see that we see a tremendous amount of selling pressure around 11,500. how do you see this on the chart you see this white area and this white area is the amount of orders 
that's going to sell their bitcoins when we reach 11,500. I think at the moment there's more than 50 million US dollar in Bitcoin being sold when we arrive at 11,500. So this is selling pressure. And why is this very important to look at? Because if you take a look at this chart, pop, you can see that every time we see this white area, this thick white line, that the price of Bitcoin is being pushed or up or down. If you look to the left again, you can see every time we saw this huge white area on the bottom, the Bitcoin price is being pushed up. Every time we see this huge white area on the top, we can see the Bitcoin price is pushed down. We are seeing this huge, thick white area again on the top, which could indicate that Bitcoin is going to drop when we reach 11,500, which is also a very healthy pullback. That's the way I see it, because so many people are then in profit. They are going to sell a few of their Bitcoins to make some profit, and then they are going to wait for Bitcoin to pull back to around 10,500, because there is the biggest area of support. And then at 10,500, they will buy back their Bitcoins. So if you do a very fast calculation, you have one Bitcoin. You sell your Bitcoin at 11,500 into US dollar tether. You buy it back at $10,500 with US dollar tether. So then you're a thousand dollar in profit just by doing this small trade in Bitcoin. But as I always say, don't worry, be happy, because if you zoom out in the chart, you will see in the long term we are going up. We must not worry about all these small movements if we are an investor. If you're a day trader and you watch the charts on a daily base, yes, then you worry about these small movements. If you're an investor and you're in it for the long term, you just invest, you hodl, and you take your profit in this long term in about one and a half to two years time if it is up to me. Let's ask my wife, at what price are you going to sell Bitcoin? Uh, uh, <laughs> not. Not? Oh my God, high five. That's why. <laughs> That's why I love her. She's not going to sell a Bitcoin. Not even when Bitcoin goes to one million US dollar. Well, we talked about it, but now I'm not sure what I would put it into. So, no, I will leave it for now. So even when Bitcoin code is 1 million US dollar, you're not going to buy a house, a filthy yellow Lamborghini, or do you prefer a pink one? Would you want to have a pink Lamborghini? No, I just want a small car, which can be used by me and my kids. So if something goes wrong or I crash something or my kids break something, it doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> at 1 million, you're going to do what? You're going to yeah, sell your Bitcoins? Um, yeah, I put them... Uh, I would put them in a stable currency, I believe. So, but still in crypto. Oh, she's smart. <laughs> Beautiful and smart at the same time. <laughs> we are going to hatch our Bitcoins when we arrive at 1 million US dollar into US dollar Tether or DAI. I think because DAI till now is the only really decentralized stable currency, but I will educate my wife and my kids on this in one of the next videos, of course, because they need to know the difference between US dollar Tether or DAI. And why is my wife always walking barefooted? I don't know. Do know she wants to feel grounded <laughs> is that the way do you feel grounded now yeah way more than with the flip-flops <laughs> yeah she feels grounded more than with flip-flops you can also jump into the bushes and feel a little bit more grounded there as well no thank you not now okay not now. <laughs> these bushes no that's why i don't want to jump into the bushes <laughs> but it's uh, like uh, extra stimulants yeah yeah not for me it's all itchy <laughs> i thought itchy was positive <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Pain. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking out there. You're thinking, how can this woman hold out with this guy for so long? Yes, we are already together for more than 25 years. I still don't know how she held out with me that long. But yeah, there's no short answer for that one. Nah, it's a very long one. We will keep that for a private video next time. Nah. When I was YouTubing yesterday, guys, I found this really cool video from Steve from CryptoQ University. I'm going to share one chart with you guys because I found this chart very interesting. On this chart, guys, you can see the Bitcoin price. And if you lo look to the bottom of the chart, you can see the HV and the NVT ratios. These two are two indicators in the Bitcoin price. They are predicting what Bitcoin is going to do. If you look at the NVT, you can see some red areas. Every time this blue line flows into a red line, something happens in the Bitcoin price. And at the same moment, if you see the HV at the low, you can see a rally. So if we are going to from blue to red and the HV is low, we will see a rally up. If we turn it around, if you're going from the red line into a blue line and the HV is low, 
we are going to see a Bitcoin drop. So if you look to the left, you see what happened in the history. If you look now to today, you can see what is going to happen next. We are in the blue area of the line. We are almost going to enter this reddish area of the line and the HV is at a low. So what is going to happen? While you comment, give a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and now give a comment. Indeed. So when the HV is low and we are going from blue into red, we will see a push in the Bitcoin price upwards. So this is a really cool chart that Steve shared with the community. I think that Steve has been right many times before. So keep an eye on this chart because when this blue line turns red and the HV is as low as it is now, we are going to see an immense Bitcoin bull run. Guys, to sum it up, Bitcoin is doing really nice. They are, it's still hovering around 11K. I think we will visit 13.5 and 16.5K before the end of this year. So for me, everything is gonna be all right. Oh man, yes. would you like to visit Iran? Iran. Iran? Why? Uh, just asking. No. We are not going to go to Iran at the moment. I don't know if it's safe, but the Iranian government just announced that all these power plants in Iran are now allowed to mine bitcoins. Can you imagine what this means? Power plants. These are power plants that normally supply energy to all the people in Iran. They are now allowed to mine bitcoin. This is a huge competition with the normal bitcoin miners because they have an unlimited supply of energy. Luckily, the Iranian government said you cannot use it in a cheaper way as you use it to provide our people of Iran. So there are some disadvantages for these power plants as well, like they don't get subsidy anymore from the government if they use these power plants to mine Bitcoin. But still, they are now allowed to mine Bitcoin with power plants. This is the opposite of governments being completely against Bitcoin. This government is completely supporting Bitcoin. They just say, okay, all you guys with your power plants, mine bitcoin i think iran can be the biggest bitcoin mining company in the world by doing this how long will it take before europe the united states and china will follow these steps and allow the power plants in their country to mine bitcoin and make profit as a government because of bitcoin comment below i want to know your thoughts about it do you think that your governments will allow mining bitcoin with a power plant let me know your thoughts Another cool news today, guys, is that Cardano is launching their Shelly hard fork. I don't know all the details about the technical details about this hard fork, but one thing I know is that they are also focusing on staking, which means you can now stake your Cardano and earn Cardano by doing this. And the really cool part is that you can create staking pools, which means you can create a pool where you let other people stake their Cardano at your pool and then collectively you stake a huge amount of Cardano so you can earn more interest by staking collectively. Really cool development. I need to dig in deeper to this to educate you a little bit more. So I will do this first because I don't want to lie. I want to educate myself before I educate you guys. I will keep you posted on the new developments in Cardano. Coinbase also announced you are able to stake your DAI now at Coinbase. If you stake your DAI at Coinbase, guys, you're earning 2% interest a year. And yes, I know what you're thinking, but Didi, you showed, you, you showed us already way higher interest percentages per year, and this is true. But Coinbase is one of the biggest Bitcoin exchanges, and they are now also giving 2% interest if you stake your DAI. I would recommend using Crypto.com because I am using it as well, and the percentages of staking of interest are way higher. If you use the Crypto.com app and you stake, for example, the Crypto.com coin, that was a lot of com com coin, but if you stake this coin, you get up to 16% interest a year. That's way higher than the 2% Coinbase is paying you for your DAI. If you stake your US dollar Tether at this crypto.com, you get between 6 and 10% interest a year. Even staking your Bitcoins is interesting because you get between 1.5 and 4.5% a year if you stake your Bitcoins there. This also counts for Litecoin, Ethereum and many other cryptocurrencies where you get between 1.5 and 4.5% a year by staking these on the crypto.com card. If you want to have this card, 
use my referral link because if you use my referral link you get fifty dollars as a present so by just clicking my link you earn 50 bucks already this is the most easy way to earn money now click my referral link to this card and receive 50 us dollar biggest question now though is i've been talking to you guys so many times about staking your currencies it's like the same that you had the saving account at your bank and you put all your money in the saving account and then you earned a little bit interest up to four percent now in crypto we can make up to 18 percent my vision now is and my question at the same time is how long is it going to take for this old money this old capital all these people that are sitting on these bags of money now still on their bank accounts where they receive like one percent interest or in the future even need to pay interest negative interest how long will it take for these people to realize that as they convert their old capital in this new capital this new way of money this new monetary system they can earn up to 16 percent of interest if all these people sitting on this old capital will realize this that they can make up to 4.5 percent in stable coins that's four times as much as they are holding their money on their banks so i think this year and the next year will be this point in our lives that these people will understand the power of cryptocurrencies that these people will understand that hedging their fiat now into stable currencies in crypto will give them a 4 to 16 percent interest which will make them even more richer and as we all know these rich people are the most greedy people in the world the whole world is living on greed and fear so if they want to multiply their capital in the next couple of years there is only one option and this option is called cryptocurrencies and this option is called staking and this is exactly why the DeFi industry is seeing such a tremendous growth because I think like I said in a few videos ago that the people that are hodling crypto is changing yes it started with our youngsters but now you can see all the baby boomers and all the generation X people slowly shifting their capital into cryptocurrency and the interest is the reason this is not going to change the world it's already changing the world forever we are seeing and experiencing the biggest revolution after the industrial revolution this is already changing the world for the rich now we as a community need to make sure that it's also going to change the lives of the poor because that is exactly why bitcoin started to exist to make a new monetary system where everybody has access, where everybody has the same chances of succeeding. And at the same time, guys, we can see that Bitcoin and gold have been fighting all over and over again for which one is the most profitable of hodling. At the moment, gold is leading the way, but if you look to the left on the chart, and I need to look to the ground because there's a lot of shit and I'm almost stepping in all the shit over here. Here, beautiful shit. Look, oh, that's tasteful. What did you do? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I just needed to go. But if we look at this chart, bam, this is the last chart of today, guys, because it's taking too long again. You can see the gold and the Bitcoin line. And as you can see, the gold line has crossed the Bitcoin line and I was acting higher than the Bitcoin line. If you look to the left on the chart, to the beginning of 2019 just before the run up to 14k bitcoin you can see that bitcoin took over gold and when bitcoin crossed this gold line at that point we saw a rally to 14k gold is higher than bitcoin now but we can see that gold is reaching a top and we can see that bitcoin is crossing up so if bitcoin will cross gold again we can see this insane run we saw before in 2019. Guys, this bridge is the most famous bridge in Venlo. This bridge was attacked by the Germans in the Second World War, I think, and it crashed. They rebuilt it, and these guardians, they are created by Sinkinchi Tajiri. I don't know if I, if I pronounce his name right, but Tajiri was a very famous artist when it comes to these huge statues. He created these statues, he created these statues and gave them to Venlo, guys. Beautiful thing, beautiful bridge. And on the background, guys, the awful part of Venlo called Blerick. <laughs> That's where she is born? Yeah, yeah. nah. Blerick is just part of Venlo, of course. Beautiful. It's beautiful there as well. Love we love Blerick and we love Venlo. <laughs> we love Limburg. We love the Netherlands. We just don't like the system. 
the Netherlands has. And when I look that way, you can see this new building in Venlo. It's called the call it Stadskontor, so it's the city office, you know. And they were one of the first green city offices in the world, as you can see. The way everything needs to be arranged if it comes to passports and all that stuff. And this thing is built like a few years ago, I think like three or four years ago. Yeah, not so long ago. I think they paid 80 million US dollar for building this building. I would have preferred investing this in Bitcoin at that time because if the city of Venlo would have invested 80 million US dollar in Bitcoin instead of building this beautiful big greenhouse up there, um, they would now be the richest city in all the world. But they chose to build a greenhouse on top of their office so that they can grow wheat. Do you think they are growing wheat in their greenhouse? We'll never know. <laughs> I think they are because you know they are striking down on all these people that are growing wheat here in Venlo um, but they are allowed to sell this wheat in Venlo at the same time so it's a really strange construction in the Netherlands you're allowed to sell wheat you're allowed to smoke wheat you're not allowed to grow wheat except when you build this huge building up there with a greenhouse up top you are allowed to grow wheat as a government of course guy <laughs> conspiracy theory of course this is a joke I'm just joking. Don't believe me. Never believe me. <laughs> oh, I'm slipping away. So don't let me go. Nah, 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 nah. I'm all up in that love haze. So where do we go now? Nah, nah, nah. Just let me know that I am safe. This was the video for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, all the piles of shit and my very beautiful wife Romain, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video and don't forget to subscribe to your video. Am I forgetting something? It's all about love. It's all about love. So give a kiss to the camera. Mwah! I love you guys. Thank you for the following. Thank you for watching my videos. And please remember, it's very important to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in in life because you need to enjoy every single minute of the day because this is exactly what makes life worth living see you tomorrow again bye <laughs>